All right, so one of the issues that didn't get a lot of attention last night on the debate stage was the LGBTQ rights. Today is International Pronouns Day. Did you know that? It's a day designed to make personal pronouns more mainstream. And Zeke Stokes is the president of ZS Strategies, and he's a senior advisor for GLAAD. And he's here to talk about this. Because I think for Zeke, for a lot of people, this is really a brand new conversation, right? That their familiarity is with two pronouns. It's he and it's she. But now we have a new pronoun, and sure. it's they. They. Tell, tell, tell us about they. What, like, how did they come up? Where do you use they? Well, GLAD's research shows that about 20% of young people, millennials and Gen Z, identify somewhere along the LGBTQ spectrum. And there's nothing new about uh, identifying uh, along that spectrum as it relates to sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, but this idea um, that, that everyone doesn't fit neatly into the male or female box to describe themselves, it's not a new idea, but it is something that's gotten a lot of mainstream media attention lately. We saw Sam Smith uh, coming out a couple of weeks ago to say, uh, that they uh, prefer they, them pronouns. We've got Asia Kate Dillon on the Showtime series Billions playing a non-binary character. They're a non-binary actor uh, in real life. So we've seen a lot of that emerging. And so it's, it's brought this conversation to the forefront about what this means. Uh, and it's really simple. There are people in the world uh, who uh, don't identify specifically as male or female and wish to be known, uh, 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 referred to with a third pronoun, right. they, because it better describes them. So it's really quite simple. Right, it's, not, it, it's true, it's not that complicated. And what people need to understand is we're not talking about sex here, we're not talking about if there's an M or an F stamped on your right. birth certificate. It's about gender and how you feel. But I think that there's an awkwardness for a lot of people mm -hmm. about bringing this conversation up. Um, uh, if they approach somebody who uh, doesn't say what their pronoun preference is, mm -hmm. how do you, do you, can you ask them outright? Walk us through the etiquette. You What's the right thing to do? You absolutely can. I'll start though by saying that a lot of states are beginning to uh, allow a third gender marker on birth certificates and other state IDs uh, so that folks don't have to choose between the M and the F on those documents. Right. But as it relates to etiquette, it's okay to ask. If you're, if you're meeting someone for the first time and you don't know uh, what pronouns they prefer, you can simply say, great to meet you. What pronouns do you prefer? And, and that's not offensive. It's, no, it's, it's not offensive. It's, a, it's an opportunity to educate uh, other people and to show respect for one another and make sure that people are being uh, identified and viewed in the way that they view and identify themselves. Mm -hmm. It's really important and can be very life affirming and in a lot of cases life saving, especially for young people. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were uh, celebrating gay pride mm -hmm. and uh, you know I was listening to a lot of interviews, uh, the, uh, younger gay people, older gay people, and some of the older gay people said, you know, when I was coming up, there were sort of three categories. You know, yeah. you were, I remember a quote specifically, it was, you know, you were gay, you were straight, or you were like, Funny, like they didn't, you know, there, there were there was right. sort of this rainbow of options. Mm -hmm. um, can we talk about how the conversation about gender has evolved and what we're talking about now? Right, it really has evolved over the last uh, few years, yeah. in fact, and I think the media uh, conversation and the media visibility for uh, gender and gender expression and gender identity yeah. uh, has played a big part of that, and that's what GLAD does every day, is, is make sure that we're seeing those images in the media uh, and really educating people about it. But you know, we've seen Jaden Smith modeling women's wear for Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen Miley Cyrus coming out as pansexual, helping to educate a, a whole generation of, of, of Americans about what that what that means yeah. uh, it's no longer you no longer have to choose sort of these very simple very uh, very very easy to describe easy to understand or even uh, limiting boxes if you don't fit those boxes and yeah. that's very liberating and I think that's why we see 20% of young people saying they identify as something other than straight and cisgender mm -hmm. and so for some people it's gonna feel like well that's a long time coming for other people it's gonna feel like what is happening in the world what needs to be done to continue this conversation so that more people are comfortable with it? Uh, the media is a big, big part of it, uh, so thank you for having this segment today. Um, seeing it in the media is one of the, the, biggest, the, the biggest and best ways to really accelerate understanding and acceptance yeah. uh, of new identities and new ideas, um, but also just having interpersonal conversations with the people in your life. It's very likely that someone you know, mm -hmm. wherever you are here in the U.S. or around the world, identifies along the LGBTQ spectrum. So have that conversation with them, understand what their life is like, understand what their life experiences are like. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and get to know them and it and it is the single biggest common denominator, common denominator when it comes to acceptance is knowing someone personally who identifies uh, in a particular way. Right. Zeke Stokes, thank you very much. Hopefully we gave people some tools as they head out uh, into the world uh, today. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So to learn more about gender and gender identity, check out our award-winning CBSN Originals documentary, Gender, The Space Between. You can watch that anytime on cbsnews.com slash gender.